So many of you have been asking me to show you my makeup routine and I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I'm gonna show you how to do this makeup look, which is the one that I've been doing when I have to do my own makeup for work right now, which during this crazy corona time has been quite often. And it's the makeup that I will put on if I'm going to dinner or anything like that. If you wanna learn how to do this look, then keep watching. I like this makeup look because it's simple. It takes me 10 minutes to do it maximum. I don't like looking too crazy. So I like it because it just makes you look a little bit more fresh than when I don't wear any makeup at all. My skin, I've just put a bunch of oil and moisturizer on it, so it's ready to go. We're gonna start, I use this um, concealer. It's from Revolution. Uh, depending on how dark my skin is, uh, I use the 12 or a 12 and a half. That is the main problem that I have sometimes with when uh, makeup artists do my skin too light so it doesn't match my body because naturally my body is darker than my face so I like to make sure my face is a little more tan when I do my makeup. Let's get started. Okay, so then I like to use this um, foundation. It's Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation Full Cover Oil-Free Shine Control from Bobbi Brown. And I have the Honey, which is number five. Um, so I use this and I mix it with a really dark one from Vapor and it's Soft Focus Foundation and it's 155S which is really dark, but I like to just mix in a little bit of it so it matches my skin, skin tone. Then I like to use a little bit of this powder from Laura Mercier. It's the loose setting powder uh, and it's called translucent. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up just to make this easier. Foundation is done, powder is done. And then I just put a little bit more. So I cover all my dark spots with the concealer. Then I use the Tom Ford contouring palette. It's the intensity number two. So I use this just to contour my nose a little bit. So I use the dark one down the sides. And then I use the lighter one, this one. Mine is almost finished. Right down the center of the nose. Sometimes I like to use a little bit of this to contour my cheeks too. Okay, then I'm doing a little bit of this bronzer. It's the Filmstar Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, and I use the sculpt and the highlighter. Okay. My skin is done, so after that I go to my eyes. So I start with curling my eyelashes. Either I use this um, black color here and I like just use the pencil and do it, or I do a full eyeliner. So I think today I'm gonna use the eyeliner. So I do it like all the way from in here up to the side. The difficult thing when you do eyeliner is trying to get both of the eyes to look identical. It's really hard. So this becomes even harder when your eyes don't match. See, I my eyes are not identical, so it becomes really hard to do this. I think I think we did a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, gonna let that settle. So, I only recently started filling in my eyebrows and I still only do it sometimes, but. Oh, and I didn't tell you what eyeliner I use. It's the Art, li Art Liner from Lancome. That's my favorite. So then for the eyebrows, I use this Milk Makeup Kush Triple Eyebrow Pen that Marty has suggested I use. I don't like when my eyebrows look too boxy. Sometimes makeup artists will make them fill in like everything and it looks a little crazy. So I just like to fill in, I only fill in like a little bit here. That's all I do, I don't touch the pens. Okay, so now I look crazy, and then I use this little brush to make it look softer. Okay, this is one of my favorite products. It's Eyes to Mesmerize Rose Gold uh, from Charlotte Tilbury. It looks like this. I use it for my eyes, and it's really pretty. So I just put it on the insides like that, and then I use brush or my fingers so I just put it in the center of the eye like in the corner inner corner of the eye and then I just smudge it out and then sometimes I like to use it up here too and then sometimes if I want to keep putting on more makeup I'll use an eyeshadow and put it in here but I'm gonna leave it more simple today. After that, it's mascara. And I like to use this one. It's from Marc Jacobs. It's called Blacker at Lash. This mascara gives a lot of volume. And then my two favorite lipsticks right now are this lipstick from Vapor. It's called Madame. I really like this one. So it's, it's kind of natural, but makes the lip look a little more plump. And then this one, also from Vapor, it's called Hit. So this is the final result, guys. This is my everyday makeup routine. It's my go-to makeup when I I have to do my makeup for work, when I go to dinner, anything like that. It takes 10 minutes to do and it's super fresh and simple. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.